Hello everyone, my name is Zhuyun Huang. Today I'm honored to present our work, Physically Plausible Animation of Human Upper Body from a Single Image. Physics-based 3D character animation provides powerful tools to create controllable human agents using physical forces, but the visual appearance of the agent is still not photorealistic. In contrast, image-based motion synthesis methods are effective in synthesizing photorealistic videos, but they are not capable of creating novel movements resulted from physical interaction of the agent. We leverage the expressive power of 3D simulation and visual realism of 2D videos to present a new method for generating controllable and dynamically responsive human animation that appears photorealistic. Our system consists of two modules. The motion synthesis module is a reinforcement learning model with a hybrid representation of 2D states and 3D actions. We first train a dynamic model that predicts the next 2D key points from the current state under the effect of 3D torque vectors. Afterwards, we train the policy that takes 2D key points as input and output the 3D torque vector to maximize the long-term reward that defines the tasks. Our photorealistic rendering module then translates the key point sequences generated from the motion synthesis module into photorealistic images via a post-to-image generator. The dynamic model is trained to simulate the sequence of states. At each time step, our dynamic model takes a 3D torque as input and predicts the next step to the key points offsets. For training data, we use 3D human motion trajectories from public mocap databases and derive joint torques from them via inverse dynamics. The green points are the target key points, and the red points are the actual movement made by a 3D human agent. We can now learn a policy that achieves the given task under the dynamics enforced by the learned dynamic model. The goal of reinforcement learning is to solve for a policy that maximizes the long-term reward. Our reward function consists of four terms. The task reward encourages the policy model to minimize the deviation from the goal of the task. The upright reward encourages the agent to maintain its neck and head upright. The control reward encourages minimal actions which lead to smoother actions. The alive reward penalizes the policy from falling down. We adopt the method proposed in Everybody Dance Now to render a photorealistic video from the given key points generated by our reinforcement learning model. Given an RGB image of a person and the user's specified trajectories of the left and right wrist, our model can generate the video of the person tracking the trajectories. The person can also reach two different target wrist positions specified by the user. In the perturbation recovery video, the person is perturbed suddenly by an impulse torque while tracking user specified trajectories. The expected output is a video of the person trying to recover from the perturbation and complete the original task. Results of our method versus baselines. Our method is able to generate the sharpest video and track the target trajectories best. Result of our method versus baselines with an extra force. All of the baselines cannot recover from the perturbation and keep track of the target trajectories simultaneously. Results of our method versus ground truth. More results can be found in the supplementary webpage. Thank you.